Hello children. In last class we have in last video we have seen that kingdom classification to introduction. Today we will see about the invertebrates. Invertebrates last class in the last video I have explained what I what you mean by invertebrates. Invertebrates meaning lacking a spinal cord or backbone, soft body, delicate skeleton or no skeleton. Uh, now the invertebrates are divided into different phyla. So what are the different phyla in last class also I have given a brief idea. And they are Porifera, Pla uh, Platyhelminthes, Snideria, Arthropoda, Anidi, Ani Anilida, Echinodermata. Again Arthropoda will be subdivided. Now we will close to the we will uh, we'll see each one individually. Phylum Porifera. Phylum Porifera is the main part of uh, organisms with holes. Porifera image I have given in the left side. You can see the pores of the sponges. This animal is a sponge which looks like a plant, which looks like a plant. But this is an animal. This is called a sponges. Porifera all, are all aquatic and mostly marine except one found family spongilide which lives in river uh, fresh water they are sessile means they have, doesn't have any stalks and they sediment they'll be attached and grow like a plant so they look like a plant the body shape is various cylinder like and is symmetrical and radically symmetrical the body surface is perforated by numerous pores see these are the pores in the image you can see the pores means the holes the ostia through which the water enters the body and one or more large openings that will be present and the oscula means ostium means water will be entered and the oscula means the water will be exits. So no distant tissues or organs and mouth, digestive, excretory and respiratory organs are absent. Example is psycho and spongilia. So I have given so many points in this. So when, when you are writing the exam, we can write uh, two or three characteristics according to the question what they will ask. But mainly it will be easy. Means peripheral means stockless, cement, sedentary and they, they doesn't have a mouth. They just to excrete respiratory organs are absent. And examples you have to remember. So it will be easy for you. Next. Next, Snitaria. Snitaria is one more phylum. In these are also aquatic and the body will be like a tube like in the right in the left side you can see the figure tube like with one opening called mouth and mouth is surrounded by tentacles means the thread like structures you can see them. those are called tentacles they are used for the catching a prey prey means food and they have radically symmetrical body respiratory circulatory excretory organs are absent nervous system is primitive means main and only one uh, nerve full network of nervous cells will be there example hydra and gelfish and next platyhelminthes platyhelminthes is also called a flat worms in the flat forms you can see the uh, the ribbon let me see the image which is given in the right side see the image how it is it is like a flat and the ribbon type uh, they can be found in marine and fresh water they have a flat ribbon like body the body is striped uh, tripoblastic bilaterally symmetrical so the body will be like a tripoblastic and it's bilateral they are up and down and the body is having single openings see i have given the picture mouth I, the naming is also there only the single opening will be there and it have a suckers and hookers and the circulatory respiratory skeleton are absent in this one by seeing the image you can say you can get it both male and female reproductive organs can occur in the same individual so that's why they are called as hermaphrodite and most of them are parasites parasites means i have given a meaning of that one a parasite is an organism that lives in or a host organism and get it pushed from the from the expense of its source means it lives in another organism and get the food from that main organism example like tapeworms liver fluke etc next nematoda nematoda will also found in fresh marine water on and land also it will be found and this body will be like form warm like and covered with tough and resistant cuticle and they have a round so you can by seeing the picture you can see how they are forming a round structure and they have a tampering at the ends of this one and uh, and one more characteristic is cilia cilia uh, cilia what do you mean by cilia is cilia slender microscopic hair like structure you can see in the image there is no hair like structure so cilia is absent they have an unsegmented body and the digestive system is complete they will be have a complete digestive system with a distinct mouth and anus also
so circulatory and respiratory systems are absent in this one body is bilaterally symmetrical and most of them parasites reproduce sexually by laying this type of nematode uh, related animals will be sexually by laying the eggs they will reproduce example pinworms ascaris etc next analytis analytis it's you can see the picture on the right side but if you uh, come close and see the see the image it's a ring like structure will be there on the body so they are called as ring or segmented worms the, the image which i am showing in the right side is a uh, uh, it is it is called as an uh, leech a leech has a special character and it is a parasite leech is also a parasite that sticks to the host host means any organism and it sucks its blood this is the main characteristics of the leech now this may characteristics of analytes are they have a segmented and bilateral symmetrical body symmetrical body they have a body cavity and they have a special organs of excretions that is called nephridia so they have a special organs of excretion and that excretion is called as nephridia and the body is elongated and the tri uh, tripoblastic bilateral symmetrical and truly coelomate and vermiform and appendages are jointed when present locomotory organ these are mobile locomotory organs and segmentally repeated chitinous bristyle called cite or chite which are embedded in the skin in the skin it will be having so that will be helpful for the locomotion locomotion means moving from one place to another place so example is a earthworm and i told it's a leech and one more example is a leech and mollusca mollusca is also known as molluscus uh, these molluscus will be having a soft body same like uh, other uh, 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 remaining things bilaterally symmetrical segmented usually shell it will be having a shell i am showing here the animal that is uh, snail the snail will be having a top apart shell will be they having and the ventral foot will be there they having a anterior head they will be having one two anterior heads um one head with anterior will be there and and dorsal visceral mass will be there animals have a soft segmented body with the external hard shell digestive tract is a simple structure respiration they take the respiration to give through gills called snidia stinidia stinidia and circulatory system is open excursion by pair of kidneys the excursion will be done to the through the kidneys and these animals will have a sensory organs of the touch smell taste vision example a squid and snail octopus etc echinodermata spiny or hedged skin so by seeing the image you can see that they have how the body will be having they are marine animals having spines all over the body and this is the starfish if you see the starfish starfish look like a star like appearance and the spherical and elongated and they are also triploblastic and have a colomic activity the skeleton is made of mainly the calcium carbonate they have an open circulatory system and they respire through gills and cloacal respiratory tree they have a, they they will respire through the gills and they have a simple radical nervous system this will be having a nervous system and the excretory system will be absent the digestive system is complete the body is unsegmented with no distant head the main point is in this one in this type of echinodermata animals they doesn't have an head the mouth is present on the ventral side and the vial is on the dorsal side means opposite sides and the tube aids uh, the tube feet aids in locomotion they are movable so they will be moving from one place to one another place example like starfish sea urchin sea cucumber uh, till uh, till here i completed on the uh, phylas of the invertebrates except the arthropoda in arthropoda sub uh, sub classes also will be there so that's why i'll make that as a separate video uh, separate video okay children so till here thank you for uh, watching and hearing i think it will be useful for you if you it is useful please like share and subscribe thank you